So in the last part we made the scanner and in this part I'll show you how to control the stepper motor and send the motor angle to processing. This is an intermediate level project. If you're new to Arduino and processing I recommend checking out Jeremy Blum's channel for Arduino and Daniel Schiffman for processing. For things like the I2C connection and other Arduino basics I won't go into any detail for these uh, because there are plenty of other resources that can explain them far better than I can. So to start with, uh, include the I2C and LCD libraries for the screen. Uh, I don't need to use an I2C screen, I just use it because it has less wires. Next we need to define a bunch of pin numbers for the I2C connection with the LCD screen. These aren't pins in the Arduino, uh, these are just for the I2C module connected to the screen. And here we need to set up the pin connections for the Arduino. The direction control for the stepper motor on pin 9, the step command on pin 10, the potentiometer for a speed control connected to analog pin 0, and the one for maximum angle control to analog pin 1. In the setup section, we can put the baud rate to 9600 and define our input and output pins. Then some stuff for the LCD screen. It's a 16 by 2 digit screen that I'm using. And we also need to turn on the backlight as well. Here we can define some of our parameters. Del is the delay between each step that the motor takes. The longer the delay, the slower the motor. Angle is the current angle of the motor. We can set this initially to zero. Angle end is the furthest angle that we want the motor to reach. So if you wanted to scan the whole environment, it would be set to 360 degrees. But for a small uh, scene like there was in the intro, uh, it's more like 90 or 100 degrees. And SPD is the speed of the motor. We have actually already defined the speed of the motor using the delay. However, I'm just defining the speed separately so I can display it on the screen. Pass is the parameter that counts how many passes the scanner has done. And repeat the repeat parameter sets how many passes it should cover. You really only need one pass, but I put this here just in case anyone wanted to use multiple passes. So that's all the setting up done. Now we're into the actual loop of the program. Straight away we'll need to read from the two potentiometers so the Arduino immediately knows how fast and how far it needs to go with the motor. So the delay is calculated for the speed by mapping the resistor value to a delay between 50 and 500 milliseconds. We basically do the same thing for SPD but the other way around and between 1 and 100. So as the delay gets shorter the speed gets faster. The 100 means nothing by the way, it's, it has no units. It's just easy to read. And the angle end is mapped to the second variable resistor. So here we can put the commands, the commands for telling the stepper motor to move. But we'll need to put them in this if statement, which says that if the pass number is higher than the number of repeats that we specified, then it won't run. So this means that it'll only run if pass is less than repeat. Here we can tell the stepper motor to move in either direction. We want it to go forward for the first pass, then backwards for the second pass. We can do that by saying if the number of passes is even, uh, then go forward, because the first pass is actually zero. And this is an even number. 
This can be done using the module function. The module gives the remainder of any number that is divided by something. So if we uh, so we can see if a parameter is even by checking the module of two and checking if it equals a zero or a one. So if a pass of modulo 2 is 0, uh, then it's even, and we want the motor to go forward. So we set the direction pin to low. We also need to increment the current angle by the step angle. The step angle of the motor is 1.8 degrees, but we're using a quarter step, so we divide this by 4. We then need to do the same, the same for when the motor is going backwards. So if the pass is an odd number, we set a direction to high and the angle decreases. Uh, this might seem a bit odd, but here I'm going to send the number 500 to processing through serial. Um, this is to tell processing to stop recording. Uh, and the reason it's 500 is because this is more than 360 degrees, so it's obviously not a coordinate. And the reason I'm putting it in uh, if pass is an uneven number is so that it, stop, it tells it to stop recording after it's completed one pass and then this allows the Arduino to return the stepper motor to its original position without processing still recording. If you were wanting to do multiple passes then you would put the serial print line 500 in a separate else statement just after this that way it could go through these passes without processing exiting the program. So all we've done so far is tell the stepper motor driver what direction to set. We haven't actually told it to move anywhere. So we can do that now. All we need to do is set the step pin high for 300 microseconds and then set it low again. So here we need to tell the Arduino to increment the number of passes by 1. It's putting this if statement so it only counts up when the motor angle is more than angle end or less than 0. But the number of passes also has to be less than repeat so that it doesn't keep counting on after it's done. OK, so now we've read the control potentiometers, told the stepper motor to move and we've recorded the angle that it's currently at. Now we need to tell processing what angle the motor is at after every step using serial print line. And then we need to write a bunch of instructions so that we can display on the LCD screen what's going on. You don't actually need the LCD screen or either of the potentiometers, it just makes it a bit easier for controlling things. You probably already know how to use an LCD screen with Arduino, so I'll skip through this quite quickly. If you don't know how to use one, Jeremy Blum has a great LCD tutorial, so go and watch that. And at the end of the loop, uh, we can put in the delay which dictates the speed of the motor. So that's everything that we need on the Arduino side of things. You can check out the serial communication by opening the serial monitor to see if that works okay. In the next part, I'll show you how to use processing to filter the laser line coordinates from the webcam. This will create some useful information that we can then use to build up the 3D image.